Hello, I thought the groom's party also just deserved a little video as well, at least of the proposal. And so today and tomorrow, we're going to be looking for their proposal gifts, which is just their wedding day tie, which is sort of be like more practical to have something that's part of the outfit that they're gonna wear on the day. So I'm gonna bring along my final bridesmaid dress that I haven't given to the last bridesmaid yet. And I'm going to basically try and match the shades when we're there at the shops. Don't know if we're gonna go today or tomorrow. We just know that this weekend is basically like an errand weekend for us. So we're gonna do a bunch of different things too. And we're just gonna try and find those steel gray ties. Sometimes when I look at the dress, it does look steel blue. So I can see why they called it steel blue. But like most of the time to me, it does look purple. I don't know why it kind of like changes depending on the lighting, it just sometimes looks blue or purple. Like I don't really know what color it is still. But anyway, we will take it to the shops and basically just ask around and see like if they have any matches for ties. And then that way we can propose to them very soon. We're gonna be seeing them all within like the next month or so. And I just happen to be at all of them because we're doing like catch-ups all together in group settings so I'll be there with him and I'm probably gonna see if he can also write little notes to attach the ties because I think that's nice like I know that guys don't really write letters to each other but I think it's just like a nice way to be like hey really appreciate the friendship can you be my groomsman we spent a long time just browsing didn't actually pick anything up in the end but we looked at socks and just anything in general that we could fit into a proposal box that could also be used for the wedding day so we inspected a bunch of ties and i actually brought out the bridesmaid dress to compare so we were looking at kind of purpley grayish blue items and we also thought about cufflinks but that's usually just for the groom then we looked at some champagne suits that we just happened to stumble upon as well and decided that maybe the groomsmen should be in this kind of stone color because it still is somewhat similar to the champagne that Bill will wear. We just basically compared so many ties in so many different suit shops. Well, he's the only photo, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who else? That's, That's everyone. <laughs> Wait, can you block me? Can you show the... Yeah. So, I chose a little bit bigger for you. So, it's $1 each. Do you like that? 7 by like, 5 yeah, That'd be a bit big. Oh, yeah, you're right. So, you want... Wait, hold it. Let me, let me check the frame. It's quite a lot bigger than 6 by 4 These are really good quality. Yeah, they are. Hey, Bill, what about the yeah, small? I saw that, but it's a bit too small. We're at Waringa Mall looking at ties again. So we found this one, which is quite similar and it's affordable. So looking. Yeah, maybe. A navy suit or tie? Um, that is crazy. It's the same, basically. Very I mean, cool. obviously, it's like in between this one as well, but that suits really well. I think the darker will suit better with a lighter color. Yeah, same. Yeah, it is like an in between, but this is much closer. Mm, it is. Yeah, I think this. Yeah, so we literally got like a purple one. Wait, wait. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. good, right? We could not believe that we had found such exact matching ties, especially from a shop like Lowe's where it's meant to be like famous for affordability. So we didn't even have to go anywhere fancy and then treated ourselves to brunch in Manly afterwards back at a place called Fika, which basically sells Ikea food. We also tried the cookies that are very famous from Butterboy. In the past, I've tried Takeaway and didn't really like it. And I tried it again, fresher this time, but it just wasn't warm. Like I feel like if they served it to you warm and if it wasn't as sweet, or big it'd be nicer but it's just a lot to take in for your stomach so it's not exactly our favorite cookie we've ever had but it was just a fun morning 
The box that Bill ordered finally arrived, so he swapped out the tie that was in here, which had a little bit of pattern for the Lowe's one instead. And it's actually such a good match to these. So these are pocket squares and these are cufflinks. And it comes in this box that can sit everything. So we're going to change out the photos we printed for kind of Polaroid sized ones instead, but they just won't have a note. And then gonna present them like this with the lid. And the lid will also have their names printed over the top of the logo that it came in. But this is actually such a perfect box. So cute. The first person we're going to propose to when everything's ready is probably just his brother. And then after that, Seb, because we're seeing him next week. Here's the box. And we have the Polaroid with a little note. Cute. That looks so cute. Slide it under. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Lovely. And like because it's so little. <laughs> Today is the day that we propose to Seb as well and Jackie's went really well. I am going to do a reel of the actual reaction but wanted to pop on here for a couple other things too. Number one, I give you guys random skin updates from my burns from chemical reaction and unfortunately I thought I found a great Korean cleanser. I had a little sample and I tried it and it wasn't burning my skin so I thought great, I'll keep using it. I used it till about the third time. I started to now get peeling along here, which is quite a thin part of your face as are the eyelids. And so I am pretty sad. I still can't do the eye makeup. I was actually also doing eyeliner at one point, And then even that kind of started to scab my eyelids. So it's still happening. Just really, really hoping by the time, if not my bridal shower comes and at least my wedding day, I can wear eye makeup because every makeup artist knows eye makeup is so crude. Tonight, we're also going to be presenting a little birthday gift for both Seb and Phoebe. They are actually born about seven months apart, so it's definitely not really suitable to have a combined gift. But we thought it'd be really nice to do a wedding album entirely designed by us on Canva and also printed on Canva. And so we've done that for them. So that's why tonight is going to be two surprises for them. We're going to cook. I'm going to head off to my massage now and basically go grocery shopping and the afternoon cooking I have to wash my hair too because it's so greasy and gross right now and then they're going to come over around 6 30. We are currently cooking Bill's beef ragu for them looks so good and then this is the tomato pizza base and we have this we bought these mini burratas which is so cute we are finally proposing to the final couple groomsmen so they are nathan and ed and we've actually seen them quite frequently just more ad hocly and with the last time that we actually properly planned to meet up with them was a month ago and then at that time we hadn't received the groomsmen gift boxes yet so i basically just said to them can we please schedule something in next month as well i think just choosing your best friends is such an amazing honor like we were in a wedding party last year and it was great and those same people are going to be in our wedding party and i feel like it's just a really nice little kind of show of friendship i think that friendship is just so important it's like almost as important as romantic relationships i would say that when you are married obviously your marriage and your future kids do come first but like when you're just dating or even just engaged you're kind of in that stage where it's like everyone's a bit more even so i think it's really really nice to have a wedding party for your wedding i know a lot of people these days are kind of just like let's keep it between ourselves and have a smaller wedding and not make a big deal out of it with dealing with bridesmaids etc but i think it's a really nice thing to have so i'm really really keen i also wanted to show you guys my outfit because why not i have a turtleneck thermal because Winter's just been cold, but to be fair, we do get a couple occasional sort of warm days. And then I have a black turtleneck from my mom and then a blazer also from her. And then this is an alley kind of schoolgirl skirt. Where is it? Right next to uh... <laughs> the flies on the flies. Uh, it's just like, I think it's just a shit. 